Hi, I'm Jennifer, founder and CEO of Keepster, and I'm really excited to tell you about Keepster books, which are very near and dear to my heart. You will need to have created a Keepster folder of the messages that you want to turn into a book to get started. If you're not sure how to create a Keepster folder, there is a video to explain how to do that. Or if you want to tweak the fold and add or remove messages or possibly change the title before you make your book, there is a video to show you how to do that as well. So now I'm in the app and ready to get started. I've opened the app. I've gone to my list of Keepsters that I've created. I've selected the Keepster folder that I want to turn into a book. And now I can click on the My Projects tab. So I click on the Create a New Keepster Book button. And that's the first thing I get to do is choose the color of the cover. Now, I'm going to decide what sort of cover I want. I have an option. I can include a picture on the cover. And um, there are two ways to do that. You can either drag an image from your desktop and just drop it in that space, or else you can just click on the Add Images button at the bottom, and that will lead you to your Images folder, where you'll select an image, click on that, and it will upload. Or remember, you have the option to have no image at all, and you can just have the title. Um, it's really, it's up to you. So your Keepster book is really going to resemble any regular printed book with a title page. So on this page here, you can edit the title of your book. And if you want, you can edit the names of how everyone's name's going to appear. Um, for example, you might want to remove somebody's last name if that's how it is in your contact. And then there's an option to write a dedication, say, for example, thanking your friends for their friendship or wishing somebody happy birthday, whatever you want to say. And this will actually appear on a page of its own. So having done all of this, before you go to checkout, you will get a chance to preview your book. Uh, remember, we have a chat bot at the bottom of the page. So in case you have any questions, there's information about pricing and binding in the hamburger menu as well. Once you've had a chance to preview the book um, and you like the way it looks, Basically, what you would do is just go straight to the um, checkout process, which is pretty straightforward. Okay, here you see the um, preview of the book, and um, now you're ready to go to the checkout. Uh, the checkout process is really straightforward. Um, and you know, just don't forget if you have a promo code, please, please use it and just hit the word apply after you've input it. Um, okay. So now there's a chance that you've decided not to complete the order all in one go. So if you want to do that and you just want to save what you've done, return to it another time, you can always pick up where you left off by just clicking in the hamburger menu and then going to the projects orders tab and there you'll find your book in projects. Uh, Keepster books really make a great gift and keepsake, perfect for special occasions or to celebrate meaningful relationships. They truly are a unique gift idea. And the good part is, as I'm sure you'll agree, they are super easy to make. Hope you enjoy your Keepster books and thanks so much.